Yes, we do indeed. And as you can see, there is a big male lion chasing off a cheetah. Off they go. Let's see what happens here. Oh! Now, as you can see, the cheetah has got no problem escaping the lion. As quick as lions are, even the big males can move very quickly. Not quite fast enough for the cheetah. Interestingly, this cheetah is not alone. And I'm not sure how this whole situation's panned out. We've just arrived here, but basically there is another cheetah lying down very close to our vehicle over here. So the two of them were together. I'm not too sure who they are. The fact that there's two of them together means it's either possibly two sisters or maybe a male and a female. Who knows? Possibly this is one of the musketeer males. I just haven't had a good enough look, and I cannot be certain whether it's a male or a female just yet. But I'm not sure why one cheetah got chased away and the other's just lying here casually. The lion literally ran about 30 meters past this one while it pursued the other. So let's take another look. This lion's still quite stupidly pursuing this cheetah because it's got no chance of catching it. And now that the cheetah knows that it's there, it's just going to be toing and froing. As you can see, the cheetah's just lying down there now, taunting the lion. And let's see how much the cheetah backs itself. Let's see how long it's going to take before it decides it's time to flee. What a scene. Lion, cheetah, vulture in the background. Beautiful. Seems like this male has finally realized what's good for him. And that is to leave this cheetah alone. It's only the second time that I've seen Lion interacting with cheetah here. And it's fascinating how relaxed the cheetah are. They really do back themselves. Very good. Well, a great start to the morning. We are in the general area of where we left the Musketeer Coalition last night. They headed off in an easterly direction, and on our way to try and go and look for them, we got a report that this was happening here, which was quite interesting. So we obviously thought we'd come in and investigate, try and work out who these cheats are, and, of course, see what happens with the lion that was chasing them. I've got a feeling that this lion could be one that was mating with another lioness in this area yesterday, so maybe he's going to return to her since he's realized that the cheetah are too quick for him. I'm really interested to know who these cheetah are. Hello, Agent, you would like to know if the lion would kill the cheetah if it was lucky enough to catch it, and yes, it certainly would. That is what the lion was trying to do. No two ways about that. And all the big cats will compete fiercely amongst one another. Sadly for the cheetah, they are at the bottom of the big cat food chain so both lion and leopard will and do fairly often try to catch and kill cheetah morning very very good Thankfully, though, for an adult cheetah, it would be very unfortunate, especially in a habitat like this, to actually be caught out by a lion because it's so well suited to cheetah and that it's very open. So it's going to be incredibly difficult for lion to sneak up on cheetah and successfully catch them. But it certainly does happen from time to time. There have even been some incredible scenes of leopards with both a cheetah up at tree draped over a branch as well as the cheetah's killer and what you could imagine happening is a leopard lying secretively as they do up in a tree or in a thicket sees a cheetah make a kill nearby and then it stalks up to that cheetah while the cheetah has its head down feeding and then it kills both the, well kills the cheetah and then steals its food so that has been documented on a number of occasions I just want to reposition and see if, if this is a male or a female cheetah. 
And the easiest way for somebody like me to do that is to look between their back legs or behind their back legs. Who is this? It's a very well fed cheetah. That's certain, so we're not from it today. Let's have a stop here. It's going to be tricky. No, no, it's not going to be tricky at all. Well, that is definitely a female. And unless the other one is a male, I'm guessing, which it could be, I'm guessing that this is possibly two sisters that hang out together. Or who knows, there is actually a female that's been seen fairly recently with a younger well, not a younger, uh, just a, a young subadult male. So I'm wondering if this is her. Hmm. I must get a hold of the cheetah researcher and let her know where we are, and she'll be able to help us work out who's who here, which will be interesting. Very good. Well, I hope you've been having a fun safari with... Taylor and Tristan, Poppy and Um, and we've had some trouble with our radio for some reason. It only seems to work when the vehicle is off, which is a bit strange. Hello, Cheryl, you would like to know what are these flowers surrounding the cheetah? And they've got two names, one of which is horrendous, called the toilet paper flower, and I couldn't think of a worse name to describe a flower. And the fact that it's been given this name because people leave their toilet paper lying around the bush and the two can be confused is quite upsetting. So we're not going to use the toilet paper flower name. Their official name is an ink flay flower and it's quite an interesting name because it's certainly not an inky color and we not in a flay here a flay is kind of like a swamp for those of you who don't know and we're going to rush you off to tristan who's found something interesting <laughs> 